of the glass and stones. It's uh, from the traditional stones that were smoothed by the running burns in Scotland, brought up from the beds of the rivers, smoothed out and very heavy indeed. It's uh, one of the attempts that is being made by Hamish Davidson, 27-year-old farmer from Nairn in Scotland. He has to lift these huge stones and put them on top of the whiskey bars. Up it goes, an enormous lift. And I have been reliably informed that uh, up till now, nobody has been able to achieve the placing of these uh, boulders on top of the cast, all four. That three is the best that has ever been achieved. And I think uh, Hamish Davidson has had enough. And I think it's very difficult, apart from the weight, is the bolt and the smoothness of the stone. I've got to get the fingers underneath it to get some sort of purchase. I think we're finding it very difficult indeed, although the softness of the grass has aided them there. competitor Mark Higgins from London saw this young man in Portugal he was used as a kind of warm-up man for the world's strongest man competition testing out all the little tricks they had to do out there first he's got an enormous task I have beside me Alec uh, Valentine could you give me an approximate weight of these Alec of course is an expert in the Highland Games and in the weights divisions of it what kind of weight is that Alex it's somewhere around the 250 pound, 100 kilos say, but it's not just the weight, it's, it's the shape as you said, it's the shape of the thing, unless you've got extremely long arms, it also helps to have a, a fairly large uh, lower body so you can roll the thing up onto it. Uh, and you can't possibly join your hands around it. Well, he's finding it very difficult indeed, and even though he's been able to squeeze his hands into the grass. Now, he's doing very well then. This young man is going to be a competitor in the World's Strongest Man competition in France later this year. And if he can get his thighs working and lift, he's only had one on so far, and it shows you the enormous strain and effort, not to say pain, that these competitors feel in this event. Now, he can't do it. It shows you how difficult it is. And I think I'm right in saying, Ali, that nobody, as far as I know, has ever put the four stones on the barrel. That's correct. That's correct. The, the trouble is, is the time at which uh, you, your strength runs out very, very quickly at weights like these. You, you cannot recuperate fast enough to get on to the next one. competitor is one of the most colorful of all Rick Grizzly Brown from the United States professional pro strongman 27 stones look at him in a kilt it's like an Easter egg in a kilt and he's one of the most delightful men you'd ever be the problem with Grizzly is that he's an enormous man but these events are, are really out of his terrain he's, he's like in a kilt, as it were, and he really should be wrestling with somebody. That's his special 40. But up he comes, going to get the legs going, and he's getting angry with it, as he does with opponents in the wrestling ring. And despite that fearsome look, he is one of the most benign and pleasant men you can meet anywhere. Looks to me, he told me before this event, he said, you know, I just want to get angry and do it. It's not my event, but I like coming in, I like the invitations, I do better than the others. And he can't get the grip. He has a span of 35 inches or 89 centimeters. Shoulder to shoulder. I think he's expected to get that in itself as an entry into the Guinness Book of Records. 
Scottish hospitality were being extended to this man. I think the crowd would come on and give him a help. Attitude of prayer from Grizzly. Maybe if he kept the tracksuit on, he might just have done it. I think he's given up. He's only had the one stone. Still, Alec, no shame in that. It is uh, an unusual event for him, isn't it? Very unusual, very unusual. It's the thing you must must train it. You must. And as I say, you run out of steam very quickly on these heavy stones. It doesn't matter how strong you are. It runs out very, very quickly. John Paul Sigmundson, who two years ago was the world's strongest man. Look at the way he picked it up like a pea. Oh, this looks good. John Paul Sigmundson. Now, can he do the four? It's never been done before. The Icelander, an unprecedented lift. Can he do it? This would be a record. It's never been done in the history of the games. Can he get it there? He's got it. <laughs> you won't be able to hear them from here, but they'll do the Viking chat. He's a dancer in a nightclub in Iceland, and it's the best behaved nightclub in the world. The Icelandic version of the Highland Fling. Sigmundson, but could he emulate him by getting the fourth stone of Boulder? <laughs> Economy of effort. And the Glashen Stone, the fourth one. And even the mighty Jeff Capes is finding it difficult. Oh, Jeff, the bell is allowed. It's done. The second time, and the second time ever. Marvellous effort by the big man, Jeff Capes. James Savile OBE, who's just been up a hill and down again in a hill race. He's finishing it off. Jimmy always looks as if a foreman in a stretcher might help him finish a race, but he always gets there. And good luck to him. He's raised enormous amounts for charity. Jimmy Savile finishing yet again a long race. And all the runners who've been in this race which started earlier in the event deciding that he needs some company and run they go
Island dancers, charming splash of colour on a night that's uh, radiant with sunshine. We've had very heavy rain, a little damp walking up from the grass, I would imagine, for these lovely ladies. I wish we'd go back to the other shot. I'd prefer that, director. Delighted to see these dancers, the Commonwealth Games, as everybody well knows, has been blighted by withdrawals. But uh, those people who have come across here contributed enormously to trying to generate the spirit which is long associated with the Games. These dancers will be part of the Edinburgh Festival, which starts the week after the Games end. And there's a, a nice cultural lap over from one event to the other. And we're seeing a little trace of that this evening. traditional event the 56 pound weight over the bar and uh, George Cameron will be the next competitor in this this uh, derives from the old smithies or uh, bothies or barns up in the northeast of Scotland where the farmers in winter competed inside by throwing the weights like that successfully over the rafters inside and that has remained uh, through all these centuries a 56 pound weight of course, strength is required, but technique and skill as well, and very good timing.
I'll be back.